Hi everyone, welcome back. This week I've worked on a few different things. First of them, which you can notice already, is lighting. So basically I was looking for a way to show which anchor the player is connected to. I experimented a little bit with Unity's 2D lighting, and this is what I came up with. Now when I connect myself to something, a beam of light will appear. And when I start interacting, it will get brighter. Similarly, the anchor itself starts shining. I kinda like this effect, and I'm gonna stick with it for now. Next on the list is the animation system. Our character will now try to do flips whenever possible. When I release myself mid-air, for example, or when I fall off some platform. Additionally, I added a new animation for sliding down a slope. As you can see here. But most importantly, I had to deal with a very serious problem concerning Unity's animator component. Which is that, as far as I know, you cannot synchronize transitions with the frame rate of your animation. And I need to do so, because my animations are done in 10 frames per second. So it looks weird when all of a sudden, because of a transition, one frame appears for a split moment, and then immediately another one is shown. That's why I created a component that hacks around those issues. Basically, I set the speed of every animation to zero, and I change the duration and current state manually. Lastly, I polished how anchors work. I've added support for attaching multiple anchors to the same rigid body. This box right here is a great example. And here we've got a similar one, but it can only rotate. Also now anchors can specify how strong they are, and it will affect how much force they apply to other objects. This anchor has got a strength of 3, so it eats me out of existence. Additionally, mass now affects how strong we can pull something. This blue box is 5 times heavier than we are, and so pulling it is a very slow process. At this point I'm really satisfied with how all of this works. I think that I can stop working on mechanics and focus more on level design. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do next week. But that's all for now, so see you in the next video and take care.